before I get into this full review for 2013 inside the studio. I've been noticing a lot of you have been having issues with the introduction and exactly what is this man saying? So what I want to do before we get into the full review is break it down slowly so that we're all on the same page, Kid Digger Baby. So you ready to make this happen? Let's go in. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your main man, Dame Drops, back again with another super official review, can you dig it, baby? And I know you can. Hey, listen, man. And you gotta get the big eyeball on the hey, listen, man part, too. Because that way, everybody knows you're talking directly to these individuals, individually, breaking it up, making it happen. So we're going to do it one more time. That way we can jump into the full review. Because I show him hungry, players. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, your main man, Dave Jones, back in with another super office show. Review, can you dig it, baby? I know you can. Hey, listen, man. Okay, you, you in the red shirt, you did a little bit better. My man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the black with the graphic tee. Come on, daddy. That was sloppy, B. That was sloppy, B. Here I am in Meriden, Connecticut at Ted's. And uh, Ted, let me holler at you, player. So, celebrating 50 years, the spot is about this big. It is very easy to miss. So, I'm going to break it down for you. If you're in the Connecticut area and or you are visiting or from the surrounding areas, as you go down, I wouldn't even mind, Broad Street? What are, what are street signs out here? Somebody steal those two? Oh, they stunning. Well, anyway, you go down Broad Street, it's 10. 46 Broad Street players in Meriden, Connecticut. The spot looks like it's attached to a house when you look at it, and it's right next to a used car dealership. So you're going to notice there's going to be a white house that I'm looking at right now. There's a white house right here in front of me. Then there's Ted's that's blended in with a, a beige house. And then there's, wh 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 who are you, player? Borrelario Collision Center? I jack the name up. It don't matter. You don't serve food. I don't care. So your collision center is right next to Ted's, which is what we're here for. Let's go in, players. I think now I understand why old boy rolled up on me in the street when I was heading back to my whip. He looked at me, he was like, is that a Ted steamed cheeseburger? I said, yeah. You better go across the street and get you one. Looking at me like you want to take this one. <laughs> swipe or no swipey. Door to explore. Mm-hmm. The cheese is just wrapping itself around me like a king cobra. So I got to do this quick, players. Now that bacon is right there at the bottom. I can't lie to you. That bacon is dead right. That... Mm-hmm. Crispy bacon. Hats off to the chef inside Ted's steamed cheeseburger spot, baby. Woo! I told that boy extra crispy bacon. He did extra crispy bacon. You can really mess bacon up on a burger. It's a given. I know there's a lot of spots that do it. Ted's doesn't mess up the bacon. They definitely don't mess up on the steamed cheeseburger. Now, the cheese itself, for my particular taste, I only like mozzarella cheese on my pizza. Mozzarella cheese on a burger, for some of you, you may love it. I like it. Love it? Mmm. Like it? Yeah. Out of a one to five, the bun is right, the meat is extra juicy, and knocked out most of the fat by getting steamed. Just that cheese is throwing me for a loop-de-loop. -loop. Uh, I'm going to just give the burger a four. Yeah. Out of one to five, Ted's steamed cheeseburger gets a four from Big Dane. I know a lot of you guys love it. Eh, you know, teach their own. It's your main man, Dame Drops. I'm out of here. You know what it is.